Yo, 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 what's going on everyone? It's TK and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to showcase Sui Lolo Guide on all these bases that you can see and they are going to be ring bases. So without any further ado, let's see how to take out every single ring base you see. Now we have this ring base right here with three single infernos. Now don't worry, of course, the Lolo on single infernos is like a lot easier. But in general, there are some certain aspects to these ring bases. Some of them I go with flame flinger, some of them I go with a blimp. And that also can be a very tricky decision that you have to make in that 30 seconds. But where do you sui? Now I can see four expos on the top side. You really don't want to sui into that. At the same time, you got two skeleton spells in this army. And by the way, the main army I use have one less haste spell and one more invisibility. But because from you guys, you know, of course, I gather these videos from, you know, a few days ahead. So I can bring you all different types of bases. Now with this skelly spell, tanking for that monolith nicely with one more wall break, she can have my queen. Access to the scattershot, the enemy CC, which we are going to pull, and also the other scatter shot and this way you can already see with the champion getting added to the sui she can have a nice path on the outside getting that low low pathing a lot smoother now depending on the sweeper you can always go with the choice of which angle to lolo but i'm going to go ahead with the top side dropping a few loons on each defenses not a line not like you know just spamming loons but we're dropping loons on defenses themselves so here we have one more hound and we're going in with the blimp and the headhunters because you want to pop an early warden ability so we're going to go here for the town hall at the same time i'm making champion invisible and this is where some people struggle because a lot of things are happening at the same time but the heal spell is the key to this struggle guys because you can heal back up your loons that were getting a lot of damage free more headhunters you know few more headhunters for that enemy queen but they died unfortunately and now only a single inferno left but we have three heroes alive my queen still at full hp and this is how this base got absolutely demolished from that side of the way that we started but in general hopefully you enjoyed the way i explained that whole lolo attack because it's a hard thing to do especially going around but we're gonna go ahead to the next base and i'm gonna explain the lolo a bit more we have this ring base right here and this one it's going to be a bit different but i'm going to use actually a flame flinger for this because of the way the base is set up now a few loons for that cannon because i want a flame flinger for the multi archer tower and then we're going to sue it into one of the single infernos king and a headhunter and this flame flinger goes right there this flame flinger can also damage the enemy queen now one thing you need to keep considering is that you need to kill one of the air heroes when you are doing the sui unless just like the last base there was a four ground expo which are really tough to get through with the sui i know you have the king gauntlet and stuff but it's still tough to get through for ground expo so we didn't kill one of the heroes but on this attack we are going to do that indeed but here i saw the queen went wrong a really thing that you know a rarely thing that can happen so make sure you use one of the invisibilities and then path the queen again now with the king gauntlet you can get a lot of values and here i was trying to funnel that archer tower but i didn't see the air defense but we're gonna go ahead with that skelly spell king's ability go off with the queen ability we can get a lot and this is where i'm not even going to look at the queen anymore lolloing again from the same side that the sui is still going on another hound on the side and again this is where you want to go ahead with that warden ability blimp but look at the way we don't have the blimp on this attack just because well the town hall is in a way that there is defenses around it so with a nice rage spell and heal spell you can actually get the town hall down and move away from those defenses one more hound on the lower side loons on every single defense three loons is going to be enough guys sometimes you may need more but sometimes three is enough now look at the spells this is where sometimes your lolo could fin out that way you can use the spells only for the royal champion with the fox she can have a lot of value guys because she keeps getting invisible under all of your loons that are attacking the base so always 
don't rush with your spell placement that is the key you want to have the champion going around at the end of the attack helping you killing enemy heroes helping you clean up and helping you finish off those defenses that only targets the air very badly like multi infernos air defenses and even archer towers but that's how you can crush the bases with this flame flinger value and then lolloing the town hall of course your main group of loons may not always stay alive but you saw how we went around and let's go ahead for the next base now this one is one of the toughest bases i had to come across and it has three multi infernos the base is fully maxed with double poison towers and the cc is also going to be annoying in our case now i'm looking and looking seeing if i can blimp this base where can i start the lalo and can i get any flame flinger value but i didn't see those values at all because again next to the major defenses there are expos which are really tough to get through now oh my god that scared me a little bit you know of course with the wi-fi it always scares you it could even mess up your focus from the attack but the skelly spell here wasn't really perfect just because i was scared of the multi inferno that would target it with the super barbarians in this army guys you can get a very nice funnel on every building you want to one is usually enough if you need to get a gold storage down or elixir storage drop two simple as that now here you can see why we sui on this side if you didn't guess by now because the king's gauntlet can hit the wall and get those major defenses behind the wall that's why i'm going to go with the poison as well queen with the invisibility on her she can get a lot of good value with that arrow king unfortunately didn't beat through the exact same wall that i wanted him to so the multi inferno is going to stay up but it doesn't matter we're going go ahead and lolo from the same side as i said from the sui now few loons here i couldn't maybe drop the warden i could have keep the warden this is some things that i can also kind of learn but we're gonna go ahead with the blimp another hound and then again warden ability into haste and then raging the core in a way so if my loons also path to the core they're gonna have a lot of value freeze for the town hall so it doesn't damage my loons more loons on the top side coming in and this is where you need to add few headhunters for the enemy queen hasting my other group of loons and then starting again into the other side of the base with another group of loons this is how you can see we're going around like like a river we're just moving through the base and the champion still is getting a lot of value and as you can see we didn't kill like three of the heroes but one of them is still alive so that's why we have three headhunters one for each hero but if you're suing into one of them the king's gauntlet will give you a lot of value and this is where you can see the champion she is going to be the key even though she doesn't have her ability but she and the fox they can give you a lot of value and as i said at the beginning this base was actually quite tough for me to get through personally i'm not the best lolo attacker even though you know i'm practicing a lot in tournaments as well i'm hitting a lot of lolo but still some people make mistakes on in the lolo itself we went through three multi infernos i think or two multi infernos and poison towers and a town hall so it was a toxic one but let's go on to the next base and see what it is we have this ring base and they have double multi infernos which are a bit tough to reach at the same time i was looking at the blimp value but then look at the town hall there are sweepers and towers the spell towers that your loons can path to that means they can then go to the town hall so you don't necessarily need a blimp and the blimp also makes you a popping a warden ability that you really sometimes don't need to so that's why we're going in with the flame finger on one of the multi infernos something that we couldn't do on the last space this is why i bring you you know different style of the same style of the base so you can get to know exactly all these angles that you can attack from so with this base as you see the flame finger is going to get amazing value at the same time we're suing into one of the air heroes now of course that's depending if queen goes to the right way but i'm making sure with that wall break she has access to also the scatter shot in case she wants to go there but she doesn't now with the king ability this is also something really nice with this gauntlet is that you basically can shoot like hit the walls and get the defenses behind it which 
they really do work a lot better than any other king's ability and i tested that and i think the gauntlet works just the best in a sui lalo but we're gonna go in with that invisibility spells to keep this queen alive a bit longer with her ability so she can come back maybe even to the other side and pop a nice ability but she's moving through a wall okay very weird but we're gonna go ahead with the lolo with that of course royal champion more loons to the side and another hound so we can get through this is where you want to heal those group of loons moving into the multi inferno and i'm going to rage the queen in fact for this attack because look she can give me the town hall she can give me the scatter kill the cc and stay alive that's why we're going in with that rage now a hay spell through that side a hay spell through the lower side more loons whenever that air defense is targeting the hound not the loons then you can see we are adding the loons from the side keeping the main pack going through the base again like a river and look at my queen still alive and now she's gonna die of course but she was tanking a lot on the back side so don't underestimate that frost frozen arrow and of course the sui that we made with that queen was just amazing she could have come back and get me the back end but still this attack is going to be another cross ring base hopefully you enjoyed this quick guide that i wanted to bring it for you you can of course Go ahead and comment down below if I missed anything. If you have any questions about Lolo, I'm going to be answering to every single one of you. But stay tuned because we're going to have Sui Lolo guide on those box bases and the diamond bases. So, I, I mean, you want to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for that, man. See you soon on the next one. Take care and peace.